This is nasal potential difference or nasal PD measurement and it's a test used predominantly in research but also used diagnostically to measure the function of the, the CFTR protein. It involves a nasal catheter being inserted and the electrical response of the nasal mucosa to the perfusion of different ionic solutions. So the catheter is the centre of the test and it divides the test into two sections. One involves perfusion of ringers, a ring is a milleride, a zero chloride and a zero chloride with a isoprenin solution and this perfuses through a three-way tap system through the catheter. On the other aspect of the dual chamber catheter is um, a recording electrode and this feeds into a microvoltmeter which has a an output recorded on the computer. Okay, Casey, if I could just clean your forearm with a stirret. I'm now just going to make a microabrasion, which takes off the outer epidermis. This gently vibrates the outer epidermis and it just allows contact with the submucosal space. So I'm just going to stick this reference electrode onto the area I've abraded. I'm now just going to put some more cream in here, which increases the conduction between the skin and the electrode. This cream has special conduction, and therefore I'm just going to fill the well underneath the electrode with the cream. Is that okay? Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to check we have um, a connection. So if I can check the uh, skin potential, so if you give me your finger, I'm just going to put some, thank you, some cream on the end of your finger. And this is to make sure that there is a viable circuit. So what I do now, Katie, is I'm going to put the catheter into one of your nostrils, um, and then I'm going to fix it in place with some tape. I'm just going to place this on your nostril first. So I slowly advance the catheter along your nostril. Um, it might tickle. Okay, so when I found the most negative point in the nostril, I fix it and record the distance. That's at four centimeters in your nose, Katie. And so in about 30 seconds, it'll start running from the tip and drip. So the ringer's phase is stable, so I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to start the amylaride and I'm going to turn the three-way tap and start the amylaride perfusion. This is now five minutes of perfusion with zero chloride, so I'm going to stop the perfusion. I'm going to start perfusion with the zero chloride isoprenin. I'm going to make another electrical mark on the screen. I'm going to perfuse again for a further five minutes. Again, a functional CFTR protein will notice another upward deflection. So that's five minutes, so I can stop the perfusion, Katie. What I'll do is if you tilt your head up, I can take the catheter out. So I'm going to take the strips off first. So this is recorded on uh, Logan Nasal PD software. Um, this is a negative scale from 0 to minus 80. And to show you the four phases, this is the baseline uh, in response to a ringer solution. And when this levels off, this electrical marker shows the start of a milleride perfusion. And you get this steep drop in potential difference. And again, until it's stable, after a minimum of three minutes, you make another marker and this signifies the start of a zero chloride phase, and this perfuses and produces a negative upward deflection as the chloride exits through the CFTR protein, and after a strict five minutes protocol, another electrical deflection marks the start of the isoprenolin, and this shows a large upward deflection again through the CFTR protein of chloride movement.